This 100% free PageSpeed Insights Chrome extension is so cool. It has around a thousand users and the new version 1.3 update is your shortcut to higher rankings and I'm breaking down everything, installation, demo and data interpretation. Plus, I'm going to give you an exclusive look at a new tool that's like having an SEO expert on speed dial. What I'm about to reveal is a game changer for SEO. Get way better results with way less effort. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Subscribers to this channel have a passion for SEO and staying ahead of the curve. Alrighty, let's install the extension. First, head to this site here, getseotools.io. Scroll down and on the second row of tools here, you're going to see this one, PageSpeed Insights Chrome extension. So we're just going to click on it and grab the extension. Okay, now I'm using Brave. You might be using Chrome or Edge. It doesn't really matter as long as it's a Chrome-based browser. You'll get this icon here, Add to Brave. So we just click that and then we say Add Extension. Okay, PageSpeed Insights now has access to Brave. Perfect. It's pretty easy to use this tool and it's going to give us a whole bunch of data we can use to help with our SEO. So I'm just going to go over to a website here. This is the 12 board store. We'll just go up here and we need to pin the insights to our top of our browser. And you're going to get this little icon here. It looks like a bit of a speed dial. All you have to do is just click it. That's it. So the extension has returned our performance metrics. First thing you might notice, it says mobile metrics. So Google splits indexing into mobile and desktop. So if you rank number five on desktop, that doesn't mean you're going to rank number five on mobile. So you can see on this site here, it's got a whole bunch of issues preventing it from loading fast on mobile and on desktop. And the biggest one you can see here is this largest Contentful Paint running at 22.8 seconds. What is that telling us? It's saying that that is how long it takes to actually completely render the first main object on the page. So that would need to be fixed. But in addition to that, if you look at these third party diagnostics on this particular site, every single plugin you can imagine is basically installed. And I'm guessing a bunch of this stuff has been installed, but not continuously used. And it probably could be removed. All right, so if the tool is telling you you have very bad performance metrics, there are a few things you can do and some easy wins. First is image optimization. Make sure your images are compressed and they load as fast as possible. You can use a tool like TinyPNG. Next, make sure you're using a reliable content delivery network to speed things up depending on where people are in the world. Something like Cloudflare is really useful. Next, remove any unused code. You can also remove any unnecessary third-party plugins as we saw in the example before. So remove stuff like Hotjar and any other tools that you no longer require. Next on the list here, we've got JavaScript optimization. If you're using a platform like WordPress, there are a whole bunch of plugins and tools you can use to minify and optimize your JavaScript. And the final one here is really important. This is prioritize above the fold content, which means that the content that loads first, which uses C on both desktop and mobile, make sure that is highly optimized. Now I want to show you an SEO insights tool that has just been made available within Sigma SEO. So I'm just going to log in and then we'll take a look. Okay, so once we're logged in, we just want to head to this insights menu item here. We will put in the same URL as we analyzed with the Chrome extension tool. So we've got 12boardstore.com.au. Let's see what it tells us. So Sigma SEO Insights has returned the results for us. First here, we can see mobile page speed insights. We've got page speed accessibility best practices and SEO. If we drop down to desktop, we've got similar data, but this is purely based on desktop metrics. Next, we have tech stack. Tech stack is really interesting because this is the latest. It's actually retrieving live information and bring it back. So we can see here this store is running Shopify. It is using a custom theme. It's using Shopify pay. You can get a real insight to what is running on this site and how it's performing today. A bit further down, we can see all these plugins and tools. If you want to get really granular on what's actually going on, this is a great place to start. Next down, we have performance metrics. This is just the high level Google first contentful paint speed index and this other information we've already gone through. We have site audit. So next we have our SEO insight. This is really just our meta description, meta title and some other attributes. 
This is where things get a little bit interesting and different to any other tools that are out there. Let's hit the get the report button. So that was quick. It's returned the full summary SEO report. We've got the high level summary. Next, we have the mobile performance. It's saying you know, 28 out of 100. Further down, we've got the desktop performance. Again, 41. We're really chasing a 90 or above. SEO insights. The site has a well-defined title and description. However, it does not use keywords, and this is critical for SEO. Also, it's highlighting here that the number of images and links is really high, and this could be impacting the performance, and it also does not have structured data. This helps Google better understand the page content. So there's some opportunities there. Then the report goes into recommendations. The first one here, we have optimize the images, use relevant keywords, reduce the number of links, improve the mobile performance, and the list goes on. These are really actionable things you can go out and do. At the end, we have a priority recommendation. This is to in increase the mobile performance. And then we go into a new section here, which is the tech stack. This is live information, goes out, grabs it and analyze it. This is telling you everything about the tech stack that's in use, what's good, what's bad, and what could be improved. And finally, it wraps things up by saying, yeah, it's a solid SEO foundation, but there is significant need for performance optimization. So this is what the Sigma SEO Insights Analysis tool can do. I think it's a great step forward in terms of being able to get a snapshot of this data with recommendations and go away and do it for yourself or use it for client work to help get them over the line to demonstrate that work needs to be done. Hope you've got some value from this video. If you did, consider giving it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one.